It's my home, long ago, she get out of California. She eyes, you're the side, and I thought for our soul. I've seen future hiding beneath the waters. I've seen future, but I cannot seem to wonder. combinations but if you haven't tried putting black beans in your smoothies then you should try it don't let it gross you out because it makes it so creamy and thick and then you get protein in it so one thing that I, I'm actually reading a book called How Not to Die by Dr. Greger and um, one thing I want to start doing is he has this app that has like a checklist for things you should eat every day and it's not super overwhelming, and I eat most of the things anyways. Um, but I thought I'd show it to you in case you guys want to look at it, and it's just a fun way to be like, oh, I haven't had greens today, I'll try to incorporate that in there, or throw them in my smoothie, or I need to eat more, I want to eat more beans, so I'm like throwing them in my smoothie, which I actually love, so let me show you the app. This here is the app, and it, so you can see like it says get three servings of beans, one of berries, three of fruit, cruciferous veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, kale, other greens, other veggies, tablespoon of flaxseed, oh that's another thing I added to my smoothie, nuts, so you can do like fourth cup of nuts or nut butter, spices, so my cinnamon I added, I've already drank a bunch of water today so I just thought this is a cool little way to kind of keep tabs on whether I'm getting all the nutrients that I want to throughout the day. So anyways, I'm gonna sip on this smoothie. Mm, gotta love that yellow color. I know I added some cacao nuts on the top too, so it's really good. I'll we'll catch up with you guys at lunch and I'll show you what I'm eating then. that has so much good stuff and I took some videos which you'll see but I thought I'd just show you what I got and what the prices were and just how cheap it is so let me show you this much lettuce like two massive things that was like a dollar this find that I'm super excited about it is um, dried tofu that has this spice called hua jia that's like a numbing spice in it and this whole bag which is huge, kind of hard to tell, it was uh, less than a dollar, so that's awesome. Got some cherry tomatoes for 50 cents. There's tons in there. 
And so that'll be good on some salad. What else have we got? Got, oh yeah, I got another jar of tahini. They always knot their bags, so it's so hard to hold or get open. So this jar of just natural sesame tahini is just two bucks, so that's great. So we got that. Got a big thing of bananas. These maybe were two dollars. So right now we're up to like one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty. And I got about, uh, let's see, seven apples. These were maybe, whoa, man down. Uh, what were these? Maybe like a buck also. So seven bucks. Oh, and then I got some glass jars for this little project. So these little guys were like a buck each. And this was maybe two bucks, which is pretty big. So yay for cheap China products. But yeah, so I got all this for like six dollars or something, which is amazing. Okay, so we got another weird faith combination for lunch. I know it's weird, but I'm excited about it. So we got some brown rice, cold sweet potato, and some leftover of this black rice, red bean, glutinous rice soup that I actually just strained so it's a little thicker. So lots of beans and carbs and rice, and it'll be a sweet, weird combination. But I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so let's see what I can check off from lunch. So beans, I would say that probably had a serving of beans from that bean and rice soup. It was mostly, I know other vegetables, this guy has sweet potatoes down here so I had one of those. And then whole grains, I had two servings of rice, there's also oh, black rice in there so I would say almost three. So I'm still struggling on the veggies, but I plan to eat tons of those tonight. So that should be good. And I've been drinking tons too, so. All right, catch back in with you guys at dinner time. I'm actually about to dig into a big bowl of watermelon. Oh, it's so good. So the other day we had some friends over and I bought a, like a quarter of a massive watermelon and it was about maybe a dollar, dollar fifty and so we've gotten like four bowls this size of watermelon out of it and so I'm just going to tuck into this. It's the last of it. It's so sweet. I love how cheap the fruit here is in our city because I feel like I can just eat as much as I want and not worry about oh I'm spending so much money on fruit but I can literally just I can eat fruit all day and still eat relatively cheap so I'm going to eat this. Hopefully it'll Help my headache to go away and then I'll probably go on a walk before dinner and do some more Chinese review and then I'll show you what I end up eating for dinner. Okay, so I was just about to go on my walk and well, first of all, it's about to like downpour so but our um, security guides told me that we have a package. In fact, we had three and it's kind of an ironic group of packages because well, first of all, you know you're an adult when you get super excited that you ordered a pressure cooker. I am so excited. Look at this massive, massive thing, and it's all in Chinese. I don't know how I'm going to read it. Actually, I'm going to have to get a friend to help me. But the funny thing is I got it mainly to make beans, and then right before I decided to get a pressure cooker, I ordered all these cans of chickpeas, which I got off Taobao. And so, <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's like, oh, I have this great method of making cheap beans. But then I also just bought a bunch of cans of beans. So, anyways, I'm pretty pumped about this pressure cooker. For a while, I was planning to have my family, whenever they came to visit, just buy a Instant Pot or whatever it's called. And then my friend was over and she was like, yeah, I use a pressure cooker. And I was like... Hey, why haven't you thought of just ordering like a Chinese brand and having your friend help you learn how to read the manual or just figure out how to make the basics with it? So, 
I finally took the plunge. This was only like 45 bucks compared to maybe the, maybe it's a hundred for the Instant Pot and it would have been, it would have been more if I had ordered one that works on 240 volts. So I saved a ton of money and it's a good Chinese brand and I'm pretty excited to get started making soups and basically save myself hours um, from standing in front of the oven or in front of the stove like stirring my beans as I'm cooking them so anyways that's an exciting thing that happened this afternoon so I'm showing you more of my day than I plan to um, just stuff's happening so anyways I'll see you guys at dinner hey friends so I just got back from a sweaty power walk I just had to get out of the house I was trying to do a review while it was raining and I just kept falling asleep and so um, yeah, that felt so good to get out. I just love being out in the community here in China. It's just so fun. Everyone's out at night walking. There's actually a saying that if you walk 100 miles after you eat a meal, you'll live to your 99. You'll live to your till your 99. Um, so everyone's out at night when it's cool. But anyways, I'm back and about to dig into a veggie loaded salad. So let me show you what I got here. So this is a serving bowl size bowl fy um so yeah i'm using my um caesar salad dressing that's made with cashews and dijon and lemon juice and garlic and all that stuff and then i've got it topped with some tomatoes some roasted chickpeas and some roasted cauliflower that's left over from last night so yeah this is definitely going to check off those remaining boxes that i have for my app that tells me all the stuff I should eat every day. So yeah, I am going to tuck into this and then I will be full for sure after this. There's so much fiber and goodness in it. So I'm gonna sign off now. Um, I'll give you one last look through my, actually let's do that now. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you, the Dr. Gregor's Daily Dozen app. Um, so the roasted chickpeas will finish off my beans. And then we don't have any berries in season now in, in our city. It's just like you eat in season. So can't really get those, which is kind of a bummer. So cruciferous, we got some the cauliflower and greens. I have probably like 10,000 servings, but not 10,000, you know what I mean. Other veggies, tomatoes, that's on there. Okay, so I have some tomatoes, nuts. I had, it's like a fourth a cup of cashews in my dressing. Yeah, so not too bad. I just missed some berries. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe seeing the market today as that was super fun to stop by there. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.